Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I've been doing some caving, getting some iron. What do I got? I got one, two, three, three and a half stacks of iron. It's been a while, and I wanted to show you guys this. Let me see if I can jump up and look. Yes. If you guys are unaware, ske all mobs, well, maybe just skeletons and zombie pigmen and zombies, are spawning with pumpkins on... <coughs> wow. With pumpkins on their heads. Look at it. Naturally spawned. It's very cool. I, uh, you know, thumbs up to Mojang for that. I mean, that is very cool to write into the code, and I don't think anybody knew about it. So that's awesome. Oh, I got a bow. See that? All right, we'll just light this up. I'm gonna rip up the cobblestone, and I'm going back home. I've been out in the world way too long. I've been out here for hours. Well, I've been doing other stuff too, and that didn't go so well. I was looking for. Um, skeletons in the nether. I died a few times, I withered away, and I don't like dying, you guys know that. So, I gave up. Then I went looking for iron. Now I'm going to go home. We're home, put all our junk away, and we're waiting for the iron to smelt. So we're going to go over here to the gift room, because there's a few things in there. Uh, this really popped out at me. Happy Halloween, Rares Ninja. Thank you very much, sir. That's very interesting. And, oh yes, this. <laughs> um, hope you have a lot of dirt to dig. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out so well. Gift from Fixer Mayhem Meerkat. Saw you getting a lot of gifts. So here, blah, 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 blah. Oh my. <laughs> this just seems like a random everything. Well, I got to read a book. The problem is it's from Fixer. And Fixer has some interesting literary talents. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's better than I expected, but thank you very much, guys. Uh, very random. Uh, no comment. I mean, three lovers? Who, who had those on them? Oh, ludicrous. Thanks a lot, guys. Is this done yet? Come on, cook faster. Oh, the gold's done. That's good. Okay, that's done. All right, let me turn these into blocks, and then we're going to go downstairs. Fading Death kindly pointed out that I don't have to make the whole thing out of emeralds. Uh, I can do the outside, and the bottom side is nine. So that's uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the interior that isn't seen, we can just use iron. We can cheat the system. Then uh, on top of there, we'll put some emeralds. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of time lapse. I haven't done one of those in a while. Well, that should do it. Uh, I don't know if I moved it too far over that this won't line up anymore. Well, it looks like if I put it right on this edge, we should be good to go. should still go through the glass. Come on, give me my beacon. Go! I don't think it has to be in the center. I think it just needs to be on top. Let's see. So if I choose... Hmm, maybe it does have to be in the center. Well, let me just wait a second and see what happens. Well, I unbuilt it row by row, because I think I broke something, because it don't work anymore. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on, it's making me sad. So, I'm going to run away. Run away, don't want to deal with this anymore, stupid thing. We're going to go to the carrot farm, after I put all this emerald away, just so I don't lose it accidentally. And the problem... I discovered with the the pixel art is it's not big enough. It's so close, so close to being big enough. Uh, where I need a hoe, I need a hoe. Pimping ain't easy. I'll find one somewhere. There we go. Organization is the key. 
and so the pixel art, the carrot pixel is actually like 14 by 12, and the stupid building is only like 8 by like 11 or something like that, which makes me a little sad. But what I figured was, this is just temporary, everybody calm down, this is to prevent spilling. What I was thinking was, no, oh, it's back too far. Where this water is, I'm going to actually put some carrots. That will be funny. So if I put some here, I'm just trying to plan it all out. I've got to figure out where the source blocks are. Yeah, I think I can go one more. Not that one. Okay, so I can go... Oh, come on. This pick is way too good. Now I've ruined everything. Uh, give me a second. I'll, I'll be back. I will fix this water problem, and then I'll show you what the plan is. So this. This is my decorative plan. I don't know. It's sort of a, a easy solution, but it looks sort of cool. I'll never harvest those. We'll just leave those there just like that, because it looks fancy. And maybe, uh, I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool, actually. looks very cool. Maybe if I... I don't think this will look cool, though. Let's see. Do that. Do this. For some reason, I just can't play the game today. There. I'll leave it like that. Don't ask me why, but that's how I'm going to leave it. <laughs> cool. Uh, speaking of this farm, I think I have some potatoes kicking around. Let me go see if I can find some. We'll start planting them. So I think I got this pyramid thing figured out, but I'm going to need more emeralds. So I'm going to head upstairs. And we're going to go to the reed farm, I think. That's that's the ticket. These stairs are terrible. Hey, there's somebody at my house. Hello, sir. Freeze! Why am I freezing? We have had Absolutely. word of you possessing drugs and dealing them on the server at your house. This is why we are here, and we are here we're to investigate. Agents. We have a search warrant. If you would like to see it, you can. Sure, let me see it. Oh, this is my paper. badge. It shows my authorization. He's those, gonna burn it. Those seem legit. Alright guys, I need to take care of this, so uh, I'll see you guys back when these coppers have left. We are back. I dealt with those guys. I'll put a link in the description, or maybe an annotation right here, so you can see how that went. But... I went to the reed farm and I got some paper, but I couldn't get the trade out of the paper man, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to try it with iron again. And for some reason, it worked just fine this time. And uh, so, we're going to go with haste. I don't know if haste is good here. Let's, let's just go with, like, speed boot. No, jump boost. That should be fun, right? And then we'll plop down a piece of iron in there. Check it. And we should get some effects. There we go. Haste. Oh, and jump boost. How is that working? I don't understand. I hate. I hate things that I don't understand. It's so annoying. Alright, well, let's see. We jump up here. Yeah, we can jump a lot higher, it seems. Which is pretty cool. Do we jump higher? Let's let's do a test. Let's let's go up here and do a test. I just wanted to see I still had the effects on. So can I jump like two blocks? No. So it's not that great. What if we run and jump? Jump! Nope. Nothing. But at least with the higher pyramid we have uh, a good radius of everything working. Like I can be over here and it still works just fine. Let's see, how far away can I go? Can I go over here? Let's see if that counts down. Oh, still works there. How about in the sheep farm? Get down. Get down, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And, okay, it doesn't work here. We're just too far away. Where does it start working? There we go. So it's pretty cool. That's... All I gotta say about that for right now. I knew I had some potatoes somewhere. Somebody put them in these chests at the end of my track. 
That explains why I couldn't find them in my chest room originally. And the reason I have nothing on me is I'm heading to the end grinder to do an enchantment. Got down here, and uh, I see this a massive plank of wood, and it says, Write your name in order here, so we know who leaves it on. Uh, remove all signs when the board is full. Well, I'm not writing my sign, because I'm already done, and I've already turned it off. I know I don't break the rules. So, oh yes, enchanting. So we're going to do a new shovel, because all my shovels are almost dead, and I don't feel like repairing them, so let's just hope for the best. Eh, not the best, but whatever. Uh, I guess I should have done a subscriber shout-out for that. Let's do it again, then. Okay, subscriber shout-out. We're going to use this anvil. Uh, I was fooling around with some stuff, because I was going to merge this with this broken one to re-enchant a new one. But if I put this in here like that, and this one, nope, the other way around, like this. So I take my 4 and 3, and my 4 and 3, and I get a 5, 3 and 3, and it only costs 36. That is amazing. So this is a subscriber shout-out for this amazing shovel. Uh, I cannot believe it. That is the best shovel in the world. Now we're going to try something else. I'm going to take a pick, and somebody told me that you don't need Silk Touch to break one of these, so I'm going to break it, and then I'm going to replace it to see if that repairs the thing. Because as you saw, oh, it doesn't repair it. Okay, good to know. So, I like this sign then. If you use this and it breaks, you are to replace it. I like that sign a lot. Because I put it there, and I'm sure everyone else has used it. So, it is off, and I'm leaving. And I don't have a wine cart with me. Why am I so dumb? Maybe I should put all this stuff away. And that's going to do it for this episode. Um, short update. That video that I was going to link to earlier in this episode of when Camper and Fixer came over, Camper's recording uh, foobard itself, so luckily I recorded most of it. So I will post that video from my perspective. And uh, so you can check that out. And uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.